Anna Oliver Gonzalez. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I'm speaking here because in this room I probably know less about boating and whaling than anyone else here. Um, but I'm, I'm honored to be here and to recognize the opening of this very important um, museum. When you look around at the boats here, the first thing that strikes you is that each one speaks, tells a story essentially of a miracle. Because to my eyes, it's a miracle that you can catch a whale in a, essentially a homemade wooden boat. And to my eyes, it's a miracle that the, the Kalinago and the Garifuna traversed the entire Caribbean in a homemade wooden boat. And when we think about the evolution of boating and shipbuilding and yachting, we know a lot about monohulls and catamarans and all of these things that we find we think to be necessary now to go from one island to another. You realize that people with their own ingenuity and hard work mapped the Caribbean in wooden homemade boats. They caught their food in homemade wooden boats and they built livelihoods um, from, from these very small and humble crafts. And it is a remarkable story and I'm glad that we have now a facility where we can tell that story. Um, the region's roots and history in seafaring and boat building run deep. And um, I'm glad, I think it's overdue, it's long overdue, and Mr. Belmar told the story of how long he's been struggling with Sir James and others to build this facility. But I'm glad, better late than never, and I'm glad that we have this facility. And in, in true Beckway ingenuity, it's a small space, but there's quite a lot of information here. Um, we see, we, we have information about boat building, we have information about whaling, we have the boats themselves. I was telling Sir James that we're missing a picture of him um, soaked in whale blood. I've seen this photograph and I think it belongs on the wall, but I know now that the Mitchell family are more whale watchers now than whale hunters, um, so maybe he doesn't want to do that. But the, in addition to the history, in addition to the roots um, that that it's obvious that we can learn from. Um, there are lessons for the, for the present and the future that we can learn from. Because these are also stories, not only are they miracles, but they're, they're stories of self-sufficiency, of a can-do spirit, and entrepreneurship. And these are people who fashioned out of their own hands uh, a means to earn a livelihood and to build a nation. And these are lessons that are as apt today as they were then. Very often we think about what someone else can do or what someone should do for us or what the impediments are to achieving anything. But these boats here and these tools are testimony to the ingenuity and talent of the Vincentian people and our ability to make our own future and make our own destiny. And, and I think that is one of the themes that we should have uh, coming out of this, this museum. I would like to repeat and reiterate uh, my very sincere thanks to uh, the government and people of France and specifically our friends out of Martinique for bringing this wonderful vessel uh, to us today. It traveled in fine style on, on a French uh, naval vessel and I joked earlier that but for the French flag, it would have been indistinguishable from our own uh, Vincentian Navy um, ships. But um, it's, it's a really tremendous act of uh, solidarity and love uh, from them to travel all this way uh, to bring this vessel here for us today. We appreciate it sincerely. I believe it is the anchor of, of this museum currently. And I want to thank Louise and the National Trust. I want to thank Herman and uh, the Beque Heritage Organization. I want to thank Alain Francais. Um, I want to thank Sir James because we've heard about the, the wonderful work that he has done and his own initiative in this regard. So I think this is a banner day. I know, ah, sorry, I'd like to thank the curators of, of, of this, this facility as well. 
But this is a banner day. I know that it will grow from strength to strength. I know that the story of the seamanship uh, and traditions of Bekwe uh, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines cannot be housed in any one building, whether it is this size or, or three times this size. But it is a wonderful uh, beginning, and I hope that school children, tourists, and Vincentians uh, from throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines can come to this facility, can learn about the magnificent past uh, that we have and uh, the ways in which it can inform hopefully an equally magnificent future. So thank you very much and I appreciate uh, the opportunity to speak here.